Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I actually wanted to test out some products that I've had just sitting there and I picked up some new products here and there. So I wanted to show you guys kind of like a first impressions, a first try on products um, and yeah, so you guys can see my true and honest reaction to some of the products that I will be talking about. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know if you do like these types of videos where I do a try on, like a first impression try on. Um, that way when I have new makeup to try out, I can show you guys and share them with you. So give this video a thumbs up if you do, leave me a comment and I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll see you soon. Mwah. So I'm first going to start with the Laura Mercier foundation primer and this is a radiant primer. So this is just going to illuminate your skin and give it a really nice glow. It does have a little bit of like like a peachy gold. So I'm just going to apply that on my skin. I think I applied too much. So that is what it looks like. It actually looks very nice and dewy and luminous. So now I'm going to move on to the foundation. So I recently picked up the EX1 Invisaware, Invisaware Liquid Foundation and mine is an F300. It's a tad bit darker than my skin tone, but it's okay because I'll probably blend it down to my neck. So I'm just going to dot this all over. <clears throat> I'm gonna be using this brush. These are like the, I think they're like the Artiste brushes, but these are just like the fake ones. I did find this one on eBay. I haven't used it yet, but it feels really soft and I'm super excited to try this out. I will have a link down below to where you can buy it, but let's see how this works. Okay, I am totally sold on this. This is actually really nice. I don't see any streakiness going on the face and it applied everything so smoothly. I'm also gonna be using some new brushes that I recently got in the mail. Um, these are by the brand Beauty Junkies. You guys know that I love their brushes. They're sold on Amazon. And this is their highlight and contouring brushes. I figured I would use them since I'm also gonna be trying out the, the Laura Mercier contour palettes. And this is what it looks like. I also got this in the mail the other day and I've just been dying to play with it. So these are the brushes that I'm gonna be using for highlighting contouring and just blending everything out and then I also have a little beauty blender um, it's not the original one but it's the one that comes in the set of this so this is what the palette looks like from Laura Mercier um, you get three different contouring colors you get contour number one contour number two which is a medium and then contour number three which is a deep I did swatch them and they felt really creamy you get a highlight, which is a yellowy, shimmery color. And then you get a second highlight, which is a bronzy, shimmery color. Since I can't find that other brush, I'm just going to use this one. Um, this is also by Beauty Junkies. It's an angled brush. So I'm just going to dip it into contour number one because it looks like it has a little bit more of a cool undertone. And that's what I'm kind of going for. So I'm going to use this one to chisel out my cheekbones. That is really pigmented. So as you can see, it's very cool. So a little bit goes a long way. Don't get too much because these are really pigmented. And if you use too much, it'll make you look muddy. Mm 
<clears throat> I'm gonna take contour number two, which is the medium. This one up here, and I'm just going to apply that to my forehead, everywhere else where I want to contour as well. You guys know that I always contour my jawline just because I have a double chin, and that's okay because we can contour it. So now I'm going to take um, this beauty sponge and I'm just going to take this flat side as you can see here and I'm going to start blending out my contour starting with my jawline because I just feel like, I don't know, this is faster. This sponge is making it so easy to blend everything out just because it is flat so I can get right in there and just blend everything upwards. So I'm going to apply my concealer really quick and then we can just move on to the rest of the face. So now I'm going to go in and take the Pro Sculptor by Beauty Junkies and that e.l.f. bronzer. And I'm going to mix these two actually and I'm just going to set that bronzer in place. Well, these are really pigmented. Now I'm going to take the Pro Dual Fiber and again from Beauty Junkies and I'm just going to I'm just going to blend everything to make sure that there are no harsh lines. I'm going to go back into my Laura Mercier palette and I'm going to pick up this highlight shade which is a really pretty yellowy shade and I'm going to apply that to the cheekbone. So you can see that's very pigmented. I like that. I'm going to take the highlighter, um, the highlighter brush again by Makeup Junkies and, or Beauty Junkies, sorry, and I'm going to use the Wet n Wild's uh, Hollywood Boulevard highlights because it does have a little bit of like yellow to it so it'll go really good with this highlight. I'm going to finish off this skin with the Pixie by Petra Glow Mist. I love this stuff. I'm almost out of it. I need to go get a backup. It looks super oily, but once it sets in, it'll look good. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off the eyes, and then I can just tell you my final thoughts on these new products that I tried out. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so I finished off my makeup. Um, I didn't put any mascara on my bottom lashes, so if I look a little bit weird, that is why. But let me give you a quick review on the products that I used today. Totally loved the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. Um, it's radiance and I definitely feel like my skin looked really bright, really radiant, really soft, and it just looked really, really, really glowing. So. I'm really glad that I got this because it is so good. I'm definitely going to keep using it, especially now for the summer. I really want super glowy skin. And then the Laura Mercier Contour Palette is actually, is actually really good. I was kind of nervous because I do own the Anastasia one. That one's definitely a little bit harder to work with. This is so 
creamy. It blended out so nicely onto the skin. It really pretty much like did the work for me, which I really appreciated. I really like it. And I really also appreciate that they added three different contour colors. So it kind of suits different skin tones. I also really liked the highlight, which is number one. I didn't get to test out highlight number two, but I'm excited to try it because I really liked highlight number one. As you can see, it gave me a really nice glow to my skin. The brush, oh my god, I love this so much. It blended out my foundation so nicely and I didn't see any streakiness on my skin which I obviously really appreciate. So I definitely like this if you guys are interested in picking this up. I will have again a link to it. I believe that is everything. Let me know what you guys think of these products. Are there any products that you guys are going to be picking up or if you already have these products let me know if you love them or what your thoughts are on them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I have a Facebook and then also on Twitter, even though I'm not so active on Twitter, but definitely just follow me. I'm planning to do a giveaway on my Instagram account very soon, so make sure that you're following me to be updated with that. And with that, my loves, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.